All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie, this sweater rocks. This sweater is seriously awesome. So today what we are going to do is we're, we are going to do a versus video between the Milwaukee brushless drill driver and the Cobalt brushless drill driver. Uh, I, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to uh, VCG Construction for giving me a shout out on their stream. In return, I'm going to wear his hoodie for the next 30 videos. So we got that right there and he gets that. So like it's huge, huge giving a shout out like that. And I got a little bit more space for some more. So this is YouTube. This is all about sharing and communicating with the, with the community. So I give a huge thanks to VCG Construction for doing that. Let's get to this. So the Milwaukee is model number 2801-20. It is a brushless drill driver, a half inch chuck. And this goes to zero to 500 RPM on the first setting and zero to 1800 RPMs on the second setting. And I do not know what the torque is. I'll put that in right now. And so yes, that is the Milwaukee. The Cobalt is model number KDD524B-03. Two speed settings, uh, half inch metal chuck, both of these chucks are metal, both of them. And uh, speed one, this goes to zero to 5,500 RPM. And on speed two, it goes to zero to 2,000 RPM. So, but we are gonna see what the difference is when it comes to the performance. Now, in this video, we are only going to use a two amp hour battery each. Uh, both of these tools have uh, more powerful batteries, but in this video, we're just gonna stay with two amp hour batteries. So we're gonna do some tests, so let's get to the to the wood block. Alrighty, and remember when you do this, wear safety, safety glasses, gloves, be safe. Alright, but we are gonna do something out of the ordinary. We are actually gonna use 10-inch timber lock screws first to drive these in. I got a 5 16 bit on there. So it is not going to slip. We're just going to see how far this could actually drive this in. And we are going to measure it. And the one that gets it in the furthest wins. Now I will be amazed if either of these could get this in. Now we're going to use speed one first. Speed one. Battery is full. Ready? Go. We can do it. Wow. Time. That did it. I am amazed that that has the power. Let's see if the cobalt has the power. Do it right here. All right, so ready? Go. We can do it. Time. Cobalt was able to put that in. Now we are going to we are going to have the cobalt take out Milwaukee's and the Milwaukee take out cobalts. All right, so Milwaukee takes out cobalts. Speed one. Ready. Time. I'll tell you this. These are two. Powerful drills. These are. I am amazed that they can do that with with a two amp hour battery each and with ease. All right, so ready, go. Time. Not bad. Not bad at all. Wow. I am amazed that those did that. So next, we are gonna do a half inch hole. All right, we'll do two on speed one and two on speed two. All right, so 
All right, so ready? Go. Time. I do think it is almost. I do think it is time to get new drill bits. I'll get those tomorrow for the next test. All right, that is speed one. Let's give the cobalt a break. Let's go to speed one for the Milwaukee. All right, so ready. Set. Time. That is time. There we go. Now we're going to do. All right, now we're going to do two holes on speed two. Battery is still full. So, ready? Go. And that is time. Yep, speed one to take it out. All right, so we are gonna do two holes on speed two. Speed two. I'll go over a little bit. Ready, go. I can tell Milwaukee won on that one. Milwaukee didn't need for the bit to be cleaned off to continue to go in more. So as you can see, it does fit. Speed two. <laughs> one hole on speed one. See what it can do. All right, so ready, go. It did it. It did it. Now carefully take it out. Perfect. Alrighty, so it is Milwaukee's turn. Speed one, battery is three bars. Alright, so ready? Go. Time. And there you go. There you go. Milwaukee did a great job. And I'll take it off. Take it out easily. Very good. Alrighty, so next we are gonna go for the one and one eighth. Yep, gotta give Milwaukee a break. Go to Cobalt. Love that ratchet. All right, so we're actually gonna start right here. Does that clear everything? Yes, it does. All right, so ready, go. There we go. That's what we wanna see. Time. That's what we want to see. So speed two is perfect for one and one eighth spade. Take it out slowly. Alrighty, so 
we are going to do a hole right here. Speed two. Bars are at three. All right, so ready? Go. time. I'm going to clear it, which is fantastic. Perfect. Okay, now for the grand finale, we got a one and a half inch self-driving spade bit. I think this is Bosch. I think this bit's from Bosch. VCG Construction, go check them out. All right, so we're going to do the, uh, the cobalt first. Battery is at two. Ready? Does that clear everything? Ready, go. Time. And like I said, when it comes to this type of bit, you cannot stop, you have to keep on going or it will just torque out of your hands like that. It is time for the Milwaukee's turn. <laughs> Let's see what the Milwaukee can do with this. All right, so ready? Go. And time. There we go. See? Done. And right, now we gotta very carefully take it out. Alrighty. Quick temperature reading. Bet it all. Cobalt is, is it stays about 65. And then Milwaukee, 72. So the cobalt ran a little bit cooler than the Milwaukee did. Better life is half on the Cobalt and the better life on the Milwaukee is also half. And so yes, that pretty much concludes the test. The results are there, uh, but like I love doing these videos. These videos are so fun. Now normally I don't do videos this late, but uh, I have a three day weekend, so I'm excited. I'll be filming all day on Monday. Yeah, I'll be filming all day January 13th, so it's, it's gonna be fun. So that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. And hashtag very cool gang.